Pilots, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of Aaron Pilots Teacher Skin. Today we're checking out another Firefly cargo crate. This one's nice and big and hefty. Look at the size of this bad boy. Right, looks like the actual Sire Entity crew have gotten us something nice and toasty big. Let's see what is inside this thing. Woo! Big things. Alright, we can see exactly what's going on here. Guys, take a look and we'll go right to the wine. How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you very much for watching. Welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. We're Firefly theming today. It's a Firefly cargo crate. We've got a few to work our way through to catch up for the week of November. The first, the Happy Halloween, everyone, by the way. Halloween 2016. 2016, whoop whoop. Man, it's actually really good to see you all. This, it's, it's pretty much, it's like, if you run it from, it's a year and a couple of months now since I've actually been really pushing on the channel. So um, I'm glad you guys have followed along and stayed with me all this far. There's so much more to come. So stay, stay. Let's take a look at the t-shirt. <laughs> okay, so this month's crate is obviously themed all around wash. Uh, you can see it from the first shot of looking inside the crate. You can see it from looking at this t-shirt. Look at this thing. <laughs> That's actually pretty awesome. The many faces of wash. Okay, flabbergasted, terrified, all right, concentrating. Uh, tired, <laughs> confused, blank, and relieved. That is many, many faces of Wash. Washburn is one of my favorite characters from the show. I absolutely love the man. Um, he's the everyman. He's our chilled out everyman who stands around these war heroes and has the most amazing goddess warrior woman of a wife and is, he is the wind or he is the leaf on the wind. Watch how he soars. Yeah. I, I, I didn't see Serenity. I saw Serenity before I saw Firefly, and um, yeah, that 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 affected me. I, is it still too soon, guys? Is it still too soon to actually talk about Serenity, <laughs> or is it? It it is a harsh moment for us all. But yeah, this is actually on a really nice blue material. Let's see, what is it? Gildan T-shirt, but the print is nice and thick. It's essentially. I don't know how well wearing this will be in washes, huh? Ha! Wash! In the wash! But, um, yeah, this is, it's, it looks very nice and vivid on this first appearance, like on the first wear of it. I think it could get more worn down over time, but I don't know, that's, I like the design. I like the look of it. What do you guys think? Yeah, I'm gonna be wearing the hell out of that. In fact, I might just throw it on now. <laughs> Screw Archer, I'm gonna wear this instead. Uh, oh. Oh. At least I'm not in front of a blue screen, so don't have to worry too much about it. It's a good fit too, comfortable enough. It's actually a bit baggy on me because of um, I buy, I buy oversized shirts anyway. I just I like I like clothes to be a little bit loose on me. So let's take a look into the crate here, see what's going on. All right, of course we've got the biggest thing in the box. We're gonna have to look at it first. Look at that, the inevitable betrayal playset from Qfig. So yeah, does everybody like? I mean, this requires most of the time whenever you look at um, the Firefly crates, they take a level of foreknowledge of the show. To enjoy and appreciate, but um, this one I'm sure you guys have noticed at least before in the show. Look at that. <laughs> that is a place that in half. Of course, it's a uh, cheap plastic <laughs> dinosaur figures. <laughs> cheap plastic dinosaur figures that have actually just been reproduced and sold as a TV show related playset. But I just love the fact that they went to the bother putting the wee palm tree in because that is this land, and we shall call it. This land, <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's one of the most quintessentially wash moments in the entire TV show, and uh, it's reasonably well packaged. It's a, it's a bit, it's a big object to have inside the crate, even if it isn't really that expensive or impressive. But Q, QM kind of know what their branding's like. They know what they need to be making for this to actually make it entertaining for the audiences at home. So that's a good one for your kids. Um, <laughs> I'm, I don't know if I'll ever actually put it up on the shelf. I mean, it, contextually, it doesn't make sense. Maybe with the DeLorean in the background and have dinosaurs alongside it, I'd actually make a little dior diorama, diorama of those all together. It would make a lot more sense. But um, yeah, key fig, fair play. You made some plastic figures. And of course, taking of their other plastic figures, this is the one that they're, oh, that, this is the one that I'm always excited to see because the designs so far on each of the characters have been really, really well put together. Um, Wash being one of my favorite characters, I want to see him. I want to see him charming, but I don't know. I want to see him goofy. So let's take a look to see what quality we have in here. Right, do we need to actually have something to pop this open? It's typical. I end up actually sitting down here and I don't actually prepare myself to have someone to pop it open. So let's hopefully the nails will do the job. 
<laughs> Looking around the room, seeing if there's anything in news. Nope. Oh, well, that might work the job. <laughs> the same as the last time I actually did this, I'm just using anything that will tear the box open. And that did the job. Cracked him open like an egg. So yeah, well, this looks pretty cool. Uh, all the characters in this QFIG series look like uh, comic book representations of the characters. <sighs> look at that charming face. Look at that man. What do you guys think? Mm-hmm. Looking good? Looking detailed? It's Wash, and I'm looking forward to actually having him sitting next to Zoe. Uh, well, who have we all had now? We've had Kaylee, we've had Zoe, we've had Jane. We're probably, Mal is what we're going to get next. And that'll be, what, five out of the six in the series. Um, do you think it'll be a Nara or a River that we'll get in the last one? I'm probably going to be a Nara because it's actually the crew of Firefly. Well, River and Simon are both kind of like their guests on it. So we're not going to get Booker into the rest of them. But yeah, that's kind of cool. I like that. I like it. I like it a lot. I like that little figure. Wash. Looking as adorable as ever. It's just the big manic look on his face that he has. Right, that's going to go up on the shelf along with the rest of them. And in fact, that's, uh, that shelf is, still hasn't been brought back down here to the new location. So what have we got in here? A Flux card for... Oh, Saffron expansion for Firefly Flux. Sitting inside the box along with. I haven't played Flux that much. I don't know the card game. I never bought the deck. But it's nice to have expansion cards. And the Signal, of course. Interview with Alan Tudyk for this themed month. I'm Leaf on the wind. Watch how I soar. Uh, of course, our featured brown coats, stunting with their respective clothing and objects. Uh, how to speak Mandarin, what's with Wash. That's right, they actually had him in to do a promo for the previous crate as well for his wife. So it makes sense they did Zoe in this one back to back. Uh, Big Damn Shindig at Ilar in North Hollywood where they actually had a bunch of Firefly fans. This crate's cargo, which was the Wash figure and the playset. A Saffron expansion. A uh, Firefly travel sticker exported from Beaumont. I'm assuming there's actually one attached to the box. There always is. Yeah, there's one on the side here. I'm sure there'd be one on the inside of the box as well for me to grab, to keep. Uh, exclusive Leaf on the Wind lapel pin. Where in the verse planetary flashcards. So this is the first month that they haven't done the mini Q fig, which is uh, a little bit annoying because I've obviously <laughs> quarantine. All oh, right, so this is actually a promo for Con Man, the new show that the two of them, Tudic and him, are doing. So quarantine for our bedroom. <laughs> so I like the fact it's play with me or quarantine. That's pretty much the two things. That's Con Flu right there. It's a either come on in, let's have some fun, or stay the fuck away. I'm vomiting on anything. And of course, I'm a leaf on the wind. Watch how I soar pin. And I like the pins from Firefly, but um, yeah, they, pins are pins. You only have so many that you want to carry around at any one time. And of course, our bumper sticker for, or travel sticker, or whatever it is, for Firefly. And flash card set. This is, this is actually like the no. All right, Higgins Moon, Hera, Beaumont. So yeah, it's actually different uh, planets. So you can actually see each one in there. Ba -ba -ba. Yeah, it's just information cards with each one of them. And on the back, of course, a bunch of stats about where they're from. So I uh, imagine uh, flash cards are for references to the show. And that kind of crack, so you know, that kind of thing. You can see where they're actually like this fencing competition. Where I'm a good man, I'm I'm great. I'm not that good. I'm, I'm all right. <laughs> Whenever he keeps stabbing the guy in the chest, yeah. Uh, th this th this doesn't feel like um, a mind blowing crate by any stretch of imagination. But uh, I love the fact that the crates obviously seem to be doing something with the interiors. If you look at the inside of this one, it actually looks like the bridge of the ship, which makes a lot more sense for it being wash. And uh, if you went from crate to crate, I'm sure you could actually build the interior of the Firefly in its own way with the pieces, bits and pieces inside whenever you fold them out. I'm not going to do that with this particular crate, but um, uh, there's not much else to really say. The Firefly crates have been of reasonable, regular quality. I'm a little bit disappointed by the fact that they haven't bothered with the uh, mini Q-Fig this time around. Which was nice, it was nice to get a mini Q-Fig, especially if you got the mini Q-Fig that wasn't the one for that theme crate. Say for example, you got, uh, well the one time I, I got one of them from my girlfriend and one of them from a crate, and it was, I got both Jane and Simon. 
Because I doubt I'm going to be able to get Simon River as main characters in the stand-up sets of these. Unless I do another six months of these and do the rest of the cast. But yeah, that's been the Firefly Crit from Loot Crit. They, uh, they do these bi-monthly. You can still catch up and get the ones that you wanted. Um, they opened up a legacy store inside Loot Crit. It's like the Loot Archive, which is all the excess stuff they have from previous crates. Which means that you can get the things that you want without having to go to eBay for them individually. If you want to eBay them, feel free because not everything in the crate is worthwhile, <laughs> obviously, from one month to the next. But uh, I do like these Q-Fig statuettes of the main cast. They are the main standard item that comes with these crates, so everything outside of that is gravy in their consideration. Disappointed they didn't bother with the Q-Fig. They went for the dinosaur set because it's more related to Wash and it's actually a play set, so it's actually one of the things you can give to somebody else. But... I find the, this is a show that isn't for kids because it's too old for kids to know what it's about. So they won't get the context for it. So giving them a bunch of toy dinosaur figures is essentially only if you're a parent that's trying to get them into degree and they're not even going to know the context for it. So yeah, keep the Q-Figs in, keep the mini-figs in. Uh, do all this stuff on top of that, that's absolutely fine, Blue Crate. But this one is, a, it's, a, it's not a down vote because I, I like the referencing to Wash's line from the, the first episode, but... I'd rather have gotten the Q minifig alongside this, which uh, breaks up my set now. It, uh, it, I don't have one to match for the tall and smalls, which I actually had them sit and stand in front of each other. So, yeah. Pump down. That's kind of how I feel about it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. This has been a Loot Crate unboxing here on Past Easter Skin. Now, as always, there's regular content on the channel. Feel free to check out anything that's on along the side here to be able to check out videos for in the future. And I will see you all in a very, very soon episode or very next episode or very soon, very soon in the next episode. Something like that. Just remember to subscribe. You'll see them whenever they come out. So I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.